Hi, I'm Steve Odekirk, and I'd like to welcome you to our very first Thumb Theater presentation entitled Thumb Wars. Here at O Entertainment, we're very proud to be a part of Thumbs. I must admit, the first time I met one of the Thumbs, I was horrified. I found them to be freaky, disturbing creatures. But over time, well, let's just say they're now my best friends in the whole wide world. With that said, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Hi! This is Thummy. I love that monkey! <laughs> You're not alone there. Now please, enjoy Thumb Wars. We know we will! <laughs> <laughs> If there were thumbs in space and they got mad at each other, there would be... Bunhead, are you all right? We fight to the death. No! You must live to reign over all of us, carrying on the great tradition of royalty, superiority, by birthright. Quickly, go and take these droids. I will stay here and be killed in your place. Fine. Pick it up. Move it, yes. Come on, come on, come on, quickly. This way. Pick it waiting up. Yes, come on. Killed, waiting, waiting to be killed. Come on, come on, quickly, this way. Don't worry, princess, we'll keep you completely safe. <gasps> oh, uh -huh. Black Helmet Man. Well, what have we here? Princess Bobhead of the Thumbellion Resistance. Isn't his voice amazing? You'll never get away with this, Black Helmet Man. You are bad. You are bad and we are good. Your badness will be the end of you, and our goodness will be our triumph. Bad is bad. Good is good. Bad, bad, good, bad. Good, good, bad, good, bad, good. The power is strong in you, as is your silly gibberish. This is the droid that promised to deliver her. What? I think I'm gonna be sick. Shall we go after them? No. That part will take them straight to the desert and the freaky little hooded creatures will capture and sell them. 
Now it is time for you to turn to the nail side of the thumb. Never! Then you will die. Ah, oh, there's my trick knee. Well, I'm at a complete loss as to where we are. Ew, look over there. Some freaky little hooded creatures. I'm sure they'll help us. You're becoming a fine specimen of a man, Loke Ground Runner. Well, a lot of good that does me here. I want to join the Thumbelian Resistance. I want to make something of myself, be of use to someone. Well, you're plenty useful here, Loke. The harvest is soon, and, and you'll be getting help. I bought a couple of droids today from the freaky little hooded creatures. The big one is sort of effeminate and annoying, and I think the little one has an amputee inside. Harvest, harvest, harvest! All you care about is the stupid harvest! You don't care about me! I want to see the universe! You don't know who I am inside! You never have! I'm gonna run away and never come back ever! <laughs> what a whiner that kid is. <sighs> you gotta pee on your head, dear. <laughs> Crying is for little girls, babies, and men who just had their ears ripped off. Who are you? I am Ubi Doo Benubi. I have the silliest name in the galaxy. What's your middle name? Scooby Dooby. Ubi Doob Scooby Dooby Benubi? One and the same. And you must be the cry baby. No one here understands me. What do you want anyway? I've come to retrieve my digits. Woo! Your digits? But my uncle just bought those. My uncle just bought those. Man, you are a whiner. Come, the answers will be revealed. Oh my, she's beautiful. Ew. She must not have known it was recording. Uh, perhaps we should turn this off. No, she's stopping. <clears throat> Ooby Doop and Ooby, I pray this message finds you well. Black Helmet Man is building a big, dangerous weapon thing. I've been captured, but I'm holding key information that the Resistance needs in order to prepare a frontal attack. Help me, ooby doop a ooby doop ooby doop ooby doop dooby Wait, scan back. What do you see? Oh, dear. Ah. <laughs> I want to help more than anything, but... My uncle's soon dead, and Aunt Gunnabide need me to help with the harvest. Wait a second. What are their names? Soon dead and Gunnabide? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, they've been clipped! Oh. Who would have done such a thing as this? This is the work of Black Helmet Man. Who? Your father. I mean, uh, a man whose father. A father away man. Whoever he is, he must be bad. I will go with you and fight. Oh, big sacrifice. Everyone you know is dead. Glad you could tear yourself away. All right. If you're going, we must do this correctly. Touch your tongue to mine. What? Your tongue. Touch it to mine. Why? To make it all official. T to make what official? <sighs> you know, all of it. <sighs> Never mind then, we're off.
Lord Helmut Van, after our last victory, we have all but wiped out the resistance. Not good enough. I will allow no rest until the Thumbelion is totally neutralized. Excuse me, Black Helmet Man, but our super space station can easily thwart any actions of the Thumbelion. Do not underestimate the power of the Thumb. Oh, don't try to scare us with your ooby dooby magic talk, Helmet Man. You're, I'm a horrifying warlock, and I'm going to get you with my mystic potions talk sickens me. I laugh at you and your, I'm a frightening wizard threats of hostility. Why don't you gather some frog legs and eyes of a newt and conjure up a potion that can get you your face back and perhaps make you one mere ounce less pathetic than you truly are? Or not. Any other comments? I have a question. Why do we all speak in British accents when we're from outer space and there is no Britain? In Nidua, we should be able to find a pilot that can take us to Daldar. Remember, Nidua houses the sludge of the universe. If you're wearing any female clothing underneath, keep it tucked in. Thumbs, let's get down to business. I'm hand duet. This is crunchy. <laughs> a one armed man killed my wife, Sabrina, a working girl. Now I'm a fugitive and in clear and present danger. I should be presumed innocent, but they're playing patriot games with me. Raiders regarding Henry, Blade Runner, Air Force One. I'm sorry, what was that last part? Look, I'm trying to keep a low profile. I owe Gabba the Butt a lot of money, and he's right over there. <laughs> Makayaba! <laughs> if you need a pilot, I'm the best there is. My ship's the fastest there is. But it's gonna cost you a lot. I don't take money, only girly giggles. What do you mean? You've got a giggle like a girl. Half now and half when we reach Daldar. What if we should choose not to? Looks like you don't have much choice. <laughs> That'll do for the advance. Let's go. And now, Princess, the time has come for you to share with me the location of the Thumbelion Resistance. I'll never tell you a thing. That is a bad attitude. I think perhaps we could clip it in the bun. <laughs> beep boop beep. <laughs> How did you ever get such a name? <laughs> what? Oh, 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 ah, there was a couple of loose bolts, and one thing led to another, and um. Well, there she is, gents. Hands, hands. I'm not flying in that. I want my giggle back. That's it! Shotgun! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Okay, hang on. We're going to warp.
You managed to endure the clippers quite well, Princess. I needed a trim. Commander Cuticle! That's my home planet, Daldar! Not for long. You may fire when ready. No! You can't! All right, I'll tell you. Alduni. The Thumbellion Resistance Base is on Alduni. Now leave Daldar be. You said you wouldn't blow it up if I told you. But I didn't say anything about spinning it. No! <laughs> Spin the planet! Let's play Spin the Planet, Princess! Spin it fast! <laughs> What is it, Ubi? I can feel the wailing of thousands of nauseous souls. The dim side of the thumb is gaining in strength. Power of the thumb? Don't believe any of that crap, kid. How far are we from Daldar, anyway? Not much farther. Should be just beyond that moon. That's no moon. Oh, sorry. Let me hike these up. Uh... What is it, Crunchy? Am I the only one that he creeps out? No, me too at first. What? What is that? Is that, is that a space station? I've lost control. They're, they're pulling us in. Well, Ubi Doob, we meet again. Give up, Black Helmet Man. You cannot triumph. We'll see about that. You're growing weak, old man. Tell me, are you still as easily tricked as you were before? Not on your life, Sonny. Touchdown! You're still here? Yes, in spirit. That's kind of creepy. Run. Okay, come on! Gone, really? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Thank you for saving me. Who are you? Hey, don't let the fact that he's more manly than me cloud your thinking. <laughs> Good idea. We'll wait inside that meteor until things cool off. I feel I'm supposed to be here. Who's there? Show yourself! <laughs> Who are you? I am a puppet. I'm sorry? Hand goes into puppet. Arm follows hand. And manipulates mouse. I'm not following. Beneath the floor, the man does control me. Yes. 
I feel in my spirit that I am to train under you, so I too can be a thumb master. Train you, will I? Train you, I will. Yes! Step one, touch your tongue to mine. Master now? <laughs> sure! Master you are! Yes! Great! Then I will go lead the Thumbelian resistance to victory! What we have in the Thumb Star is the greatest weapon of mass destruction the universe has ever seen. Luckily, they included a button right here that'll blow the entire thing up. That's odd. Why would they include a button that could destroy their entire station? You got me. If I was designing it, I would have left that out. How will we find this button, sir? That's the best part. They built this corridor that leads right to it. You just zip in, Follow a straight line and fire! <laughs> Why would they do that? You got me, but isn't it great? <laughs> but Hand, you have to come with us. No thanks, kid. This isn't my battle. And I thought we meant something to each other. Hey, look, I don't get clipped for anybody but myself. And I don't care how good your buns are. I got my giggles, and I'm out of here. Oh. Be careful, Loke. Don't worry, Bunhead. OK, Thumbs. Let's give them hell! Yes, that's the spot. It feels like there's a lot in there. I'm telling you, if you keep Mr. Anger all pent up inside, sooner or later he's just going to squeeze his way right out. It's the, uh, the resistance, Lord Helmerbrand. They're making a frontal assault. How convenient. Ready my fist fighter. <laughs> I've got three fist fighters coming from my left. Copy, stray dog. I I don't think I'm stray dog. Copy that, red rooster. I I don't think I'm red rooster either. No problem, nasty butler. I'm ending this transmission. I see it. I'll take a shot. Ouch! Ow. We're losing fighters. We've got to get to that button! Where, where's the corridor? I see it. I'll take a shot. Okay. Closing in. Almost there. A little closer. A little closer. A little closer. You know, if I had to do this all over again, I think I would have entered this corridor a lot closer to the butt. Okay, 
Somebody cover me! I'm going in! We got company, Swollen Ostrich. Oh, man, it's you. Thank you. The thumb is strong in this one. This ends here and now, Black Helmet Man. to trust my feelings and use the power of the thumb. Use the instrument panel, Luke. What? The instrument panel. That's what it's there for. Advanced weaponry designed to hit tiny targets. Okay, okay. Well, I'll take care of business. Remember, the thumb will be with you, always.
I came to America in uh, hopes of finding a woman. I found that woman and we had a daughter. The other night, my daughter went out. She went on a date with a boy. He kissed her, God damn. He kissed her on the lips. Well, hmm. what is it you've come to ask of me? I want him to be a kissed back. I'm sorry, come again? I want him to be a kissed back on the mouth like he did to my daughter. And who would you like to do this kissing? Mauri Povich. You are a strange man. Please go away. Oh, I have uh, other enemies, Godotham. I want them to be eaten by monsters. Uh, what do you make of this adopted lawyer, son? <sighs> I can only advise you legally, Godotham. Monsters are loud and tricky to clean up after. Thummy? I'm your son. I'm a hothead. All I'm saying is, whatever we do, we should do it quickly, in a rage, without thinking, preferably at night. You know when you're in that weird state between sleeping and waking? That's when we strike! Afredo? I don't talk much in this movie. Very well. I will honor your request, as this is the day of my daughter's wedding. Grazie, good thumb. You know any monsters? It's a great day for a white wedding. Thank you, Joey. Rabbit teeth, Carboni. You don't look a lovely conceited. Thank you, Rico. Three eyes, Parisi. Oh, oh this is my beautiful conceited. And her new husband. I am an old, poor woman with nothing to give you but my blessing and my mustache. Take it. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Gadza, I'm honored and uh, grateful for your invitation to win it. No, no, I gotta know it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Gadza. I am honored and gravy filled at your invitation. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Good thumb. I'm a horny grapefruit. Uh, no. Good thumb. Mickey, this is quite a wedding. What does your father do? Uh, my father. Oh, oh, my father is a, a businessman. Yeah, only instead of a briefcase, he carries a sack of death. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. Oh, adopted lawyer son? This is my girlfriend, B. B, this is my adopted brother, adopted lawyer son. Say hi. Debbie, pleased to meet you. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Oh! <laughs> That's right, Johnny Paisano, folks! In the flesh, baby! Whoa, fold my ankle! What? Hey, everybody. I just flew in from Miami, and boy, is my airplane tired. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Line up the laughs. Johnny's here. Mickey, you never told me you knew Johnny Pisano. Like to sing a little song for you? <laughs> no, please, please. Little song I like to sing whenever I see a beautiful girl. <laughs> oh, my God. You know it, huh? It's called Whenever I See a Beautiful Girl. Maestro. Whenever I see a beautiful girl, I see a girl.
I love you, Johnny. That's who I see. So dreamy. It's this one movie, Gantham. One movie. Just one part. And I'm back on top, I tell you. Like the old days, I'm riding high. But this producer, Warts, he won't give it a part. And what is the name of this movie? Electro Robo Boogie 2. Oh, God, Tom. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You can act like a thumb. No, no, not, not the hair. Ah! Oh, nobody look. No, don't look at my head. Uh, I want to be an electro robot boogie too. I want to be a dancing robot. Oh, I got my wig knocked off. Yeah, pull yourself together, man. It's all right, you go. I will have this producer talk to. You will get your part in Electro Robo Boogie. <laughs> Whenever I see a beautiful girl, I see a girl, it's what's on the inside that counts. Do you see all this? All of it paid for with Electro Robo Boogie One money. All from a robot, very impressive. No, not just a robot. An Electro Robo Boogie Bot. <laughs> There's a difference, trust me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend. No problem. Hey, you want to see something? Come here. Oh, I've loved animals since I was a boy. So, I built my own petting zoo. See that horse over there? That is my most prized possession. I love that horse. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if something happened to that horse. Especially his head. That on his neck. I don't know what I would do if something happened to that horse's neck. No, oh, and by the way, Johnny Paisano never gets that part. I don't want to go to school today. <laughs> hey, who snuck into my room while I was sleeping in the middle of the night and stuck this huge thing in my bed without even waking me up? What it? <laughs> I don't care what you do, Johnny Paisano never gets that part. Still don't care. Johnny Paisano never gets that part. <laughs> I must be an amazingly sound sleeper. Okay! 
Dolly Paisano can have that part. Dimples! No! <laughs> I don't suppose peanuts will help this time. <laughs> that though, I need money for a venture. You, of course, will receive a share of the proceeds from my venture. What do you say? Uh, I understand why you come to me, Don Bazzazzini. But uh, if I am to invest in your venture, I must know what your venture is. I thought you'd never ask me. Hit it, boys! Hey, sure, everybody loves a meatball. But let me ask you something. Don't you hate it when you reach for your nice meatball with your fork and you miss and it is slip and it slide all over the place and then it fall on the floor with all the cat hair? You just ruined a perfectly good meatball. But this wouldn't have happened if it was a meat cube. You got some malachu. I give you the original meat cube magician. Huh? There you have it. The meat cube. What do you think, Gotham? No. Oh, but Pop, this machine, she makes the meat cubes. It is not my business what a man does for a living. But this meat cube invention that you have created is the stupidest, dumbest, most lame idea in the history of stupid, dumb, lame ideas I have ever heard. Come on, Pop. I kind of like the original meat magician stool gods. At this moment, I am going to have to ask everyone to stop using the term original meat magician. I am beginning to grow angry when I hear it. So you're saying there's a chance? No. You like it a little? No. You're thinking maybe uh, as a luncheon thing. Not dinner, certainly, but lunch maybe. No. Snack? Midnight snack like the little pizza rolls that you put in the oven? You cook them up and you got pizza middle of the night. It's been nice seeing you, Don Bazzazzini, but... Triangle. Balls. No. Pyramid. No. Rhombus. No. Trapezoid. No. Amorphous shapes. No. Long meat sticks. Line segments. No. I'm sorry, what was the last one? Line segments. No. But, 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 but got them. My no is final. I wish you the best in your meat cube business, Don Bazzazzini. I don't think you really mean that. You are making a huge mistake here, Gotham. You ain't seen the last of me. Stop talking now. Well, got a fudge a key. I'm hungry. Someone bring me a kitten. Fuguts. We're all out of the kittens, Pop. Fine. Pull up my car. Send Lucky Brazier to check out Don Bazazzini and these meat cubes of his. You mean the ones that come from the original meat? Don't. Lucky Brazier! Good to see you. Why have you come? Your, uh, the God Thumb wants me to see the original meat magician. Really? I thought he wasn't interested. Uh, yes, he's interested. Uh, could you show me how it works? Sure. Oh, but first, place your hand on a counter. All right. You can stop the demonstration now. I'm, I'm no longer interested. Whoa, strangling guys makes me hungry. Hey, Joey, whip up a batch of cubes, will ya? Alfredo, you wait here. I want to buy some kittens. Okay, Pop. Hey, uh, give me some of those. Yeah, uh, the fluffy one there. Uh, him. Hmm? Nice day, huh? For some kitten shopping. Why so many? Well, I got... I like kittens. 
Yesterday's batch. They're, they're there. They're at home, you know, sort of running around, you know, so to speak. <laughs> oh, Pop, did you hear the fireworks? Hey, Pop, it sounds like the 4th of July! Come on, wake up, you're going to miss all the fun! Ooh, the finale! Doctor, how is he? You can see him now. But I should warn you. We were only able to save his head. What? Mickey, my son, you've come to see me. Pop. You look good, you lost weight. I'm only saying. They won't get away with this, Pop. I didn't want this for you. Thummy, he's a hothead, a fredo. He's an idiot and entirely expendable. But now you, Mickey. <sighs> Put me in a bowling bag and get me out of here. No, no, Pop, shh, 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 shh. You need your rest, okay? I'll take care of things now. We can't wait, all right? Look, we set up a meeting between me, Bazzazzini, and the crooked captain. All right, in, in like a, what do you call it, a kitty restaurant or a, or a seedy bathhouse, yeah? Now, I want you should put a weapon in the bathroom. Don't worry. I'll take it from there. <laughs> Becky, glad you could make it. Born a gay badger, and I'm gonna be your badger burger waiter for this evening. Okay, here are some menus. Okay, I'm gonna be right back to badger you for your order. Mickey, this bad blood between our families, it's gotta be stopped. Now, I need your financial backing for my meat cube. If I don't get that, there's no telling what could happen. I, uh, I need to go to the bathroom. So, uh, see any good movies, I think? Hello? Where'd you plant it? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. <sighs> hey, this isn't toilet paper. Sorry, sir, but you gotta have exact change. Oh, still hey. hey, anybody, any of you guys got exact change, huh? Thank you. Ah, thank you. Ow, ah, ah, meal, tetrazzini, penny, pasta, patchouli, penny, fusilli, ah, in a tone.
Look at me adopted lawyer son. Look what they've done to me. I can't even applaud anymore. What am I going to do if I'm at a show and I see something I like? You could whistle. What are you, an idiot? I don't have any lungs. I don't even know how I'm talking to you right now, to be completely honest with you. What have I become? I'm a wig mannequin! Aye, a wig mannequin. Tis a terrible, terrible fate. Oh, by the by, they got thummy at the toll booth. I want no more acts of vengeance. The killing must stop. I will invest in this meat cuba. All this for cubes of meat. I need fresh air. Put me in a shopping bag or a, like a large coffin can and take me outside. And you know, take me out of the can once I'm out there. It's really just more for the transportation. Point A to point B in the coffee can. And uh, if you if you put that plastic lid on, then punch some holes, cause you know, like like you would with a small hamster or gerbil. If you put him in the coffee can, you punch the holes, make sure he doesn't suffocate to death. Uh, same could happen to me. How about in a sugar scoop? Can you travel by sugar scoop? Hey, Pop. Mickey, look at you, Mickey. Hey, remember this? This always made you laugh. <clears throat> Oh, hey, hey no, stop it, Pop, stop it! <laughs> hey, you're freaking me out here! Mickey, let me chase you through the tomato plants. Oh, I, I don't know, Pop. Come on, Mickey. Full time sick, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Almost got you, Mickey. <laughs> Hey, watch your toes! Watch your toes! <laughs> Daddy's going oh. to take him, Mickey. Woo! All right, soccer ball! No, Alfredo! Oh. oh! No! I'm making the goal! I'm making the goal! Oh, pop! Oh, that's so wrong. Ow. Oh. Mickey, I want to ask you a question. Don't ask me about my business, B. No, Mickey, I just want to ask you a question. Don't ask me about my business, B. Okay, okay. Mickey, what's your business? I can answer that. Pop! Thummy! I thought you were dead! Yeah, he's just a head. There's still guts enough. No, I was only kicked into a bucket, and Thummy was severely stunned. You are in charge now, Mickey. You will lead the family. And our business will no longer be crime. What? Crime is not our business? Uh, what is our business, Pop? Justice! We will stand for what is good. And if any man shall stand in opposition of our goodness, we will shoot him down like a dog in the streets. Ha! <laughs> to justice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Salute! Salute! I cannot toast! <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Dad. Does anybody have an orange for me? I could I could probably get some mileage off that orange peel gag right about me. <laughs>
Well, I'm sure there's no doubt you like me. Because I do like the ladies. And the ladies do like me. Now, why don't you just pucker it up and lay it right on Johnny Ben? Hey, what are you doing here, Electro Robo Boogie Bot? Ha <laughs> boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. Electro Robo Boogie 2. Electro Robo Boogie 2. Electro Robo Boogie me. Electro Robo Boogie you. Hey, where you going, lady? Will he make it, Doctor? Will he live? Will my Robo Boogie Bot live? <laughs> Robo Boogie Bot? Robo Boogie Bot? He does live! My Robo Boogie Bot lives! He lives, he's a Robo Boogie Bot! We are riding, riding down the road. Electro Robo Boogie riding down the road. Take it! We're riding, riding, riding down the road. Oh, we are down the road. Yeah, we are. Down that road, we're down the road, we're riding down the See you next movie, everybody. Oh. Steve Odekirk is unfortunately unavailable to introduce the latest exciting Thumb Cinema presentation as he was severely injured in a freak Wheelow mishap. In his absence, this introduction, as all his normal daily activities, will be conducted by a can of beets. Enjoy Bat Thumb. Gotham City. Not Gotham. Gotham. G A A A Thumb. What an incredible spectacle. How truly fortunate am I to be a part of this sprawling metropolis. <laughs> Let's split the loot. Great, because I love loot. Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs>
One two by four expenditure per job, that's nothing. Nothing. A low capital startup <laughs> with total positive cash flow. Oh, imagine all the loot. No one can stop us. <laughs> 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 What, 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 what is it? Get the board. What in the... Run! Bad what? I'm Bat Thumb. Bat what? I'm a bat that thinks he's th I'm a thumb that has a bat. I'm Bat Thumb. Wh what are you gonna do to me? Nothing. I want you to tell your friends about me. I want you to tell them that there's a new bat in town and he has his name written all over it. What? Tell them there's a new thumb and there's a bat in the town, and he has their name written all over him. Who am I telling again? Your colleagues. Oh, well, uh... Other criminals? Oh, well, we really don't hang out together or anything. You know, it's not that organized. Well, who can you tell? My mom, I guess. I... Fine. Tell her there's a new bat in town, and he has his name written all over her. Ooh, I can't tell her that. Well, just tell her to watch her step. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Watch your step, okay? Yeah, me too. Bye. <laughs> Ruth, I must say, you have outdone yourself this time. Thank you. The <laughs> champagne is just heavenly. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to my home. I'm Woos Bain. Woos? Woos. Well, Woos, I'm Vicky. Vicky Nail. And what is it you do, Miss Nail? When I'm scared, I scream. Other than that, I'm blonde and hot. You have to understand, I've got a lot of personal problems. I'm carrying some major baggage, and I have an odd way of dealing with it. I'm not the kind of guy you want to get involved with. So you're rich and screwed up. What's new? <laughs> Good morning. I'd like to make a deposit. <gasps> um, money. I'd like to deposit money. Ah! I'd like I'd like to deposit money in your bank. Oh! oh. oh. Attention, everyone. May I have your attention? Thank you. Would you be so kind as to put all of the money into the bag? Oh. Wait, 
Mighty joy. E commissioner, an urgent call from the bank. Put him on speaker. Yes. Commissioner. Yes. This is the bank. Yes. It was horrible. Now calm down. Tell me what happened. Now, now, I understand. Are there any women there? Sure, uh, most of the tellers. Great, I'll be right over. Great day in the morning, bags over the heads! Yes, sounds like... No face. You're leaving? I've never done anything like that before. Really? No. I've done it a lot. Oh, the thumb phone. Aren't you going to answer it? Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. I, uh, so you're leaving. The phone flashes red. Oh. Is it an emergency line or something? Oh. <laughs> no. Emergency. <laughs> of course it's not a... Really? No. No. I'll answer it for you. No! Uh, it's, um, it's not important. I'm sure it's... Uh, Bad thumb? Hello. Bad thumb, is this you? Yes. It, uh, it is me. Who's on the phone? Oh, oh, uh, just the cat. Your cat is calling you? It, are you calling me a cat? No, sir. You call your cat, sir? Uh, <laughs> It's an older cat. Oh, so now I'm old, am I? No, Commissioner. Commissioner? Uh, it's his name. Uh, look, just tell me what's the matter. Well, it's the bank, Bat Thumb. It's been robbed. No. Yes. Are there any women there? Yes, most of the tellers. I'll be right over. Look, I have to go. Going? You're going to have to trust me on this. Oh, Woos, of course I trust you. I will trust you until the end of time, with every breath in my body. Can I have a little bit of money? Uh, sure. Fred. Someone has just robbed the savings and bank. I've got to get to the Batborough. Fish! <sighs> oh! Who's? Thought you were a marlin. If you're going out, make sure you bring a sweater because there's bacon outside. Yeah. <sighs> That's fine, Fred. Fine for you, but what about the bacon bits, people? They can't be happy. To the bat burrow. Yes, I am. Now, tell me, who is behind this dastardly deed? You're not gonna wanna hear this, Bat Thumb, but we think it's no face. It, it can't be, but, but he's, he was put away for a... Well, evidently he escaped. Apparently he cored through the entire earth, came out the other side and got a China man to help him. Clever. If I know no face, he'll be back at his old lair. I must go. Good luck, Bat Thumb. Bat Thumb! Oh, thank goodness I found you. <laughs> what do you need, son? I'm Blue Jay, Bat Thumb's sidekick. You have a sidekick? Uh, I don't have a sidekick. Oh, yes. And his name is Blue Jay. Go away. But I'm your assistant. I work alone. Oh, yeah? Ready for duty, Bat Thumb! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I've never seen this kid before in my life. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Let's go fight some crime. Come on. It's gonna be great. See you back at the nest, Blue Jay. It's a joke. Someone's playing a joke on me. It's not. Go away. <laughs> Gentlemen, gentlemen, gather round. I have some good news. After years of trying, I, No Face, have finally perfected the formula. You have to stop doing this. I have a crime to I'll solve. I'll help in any way I can. Do you need my sister's bike? No, I don't need your sister's bike. And I don't need your help. Now get lost. Oh. <sighs> my entire life, I've dreamed of fighting at your side. Defending good. But I guess it was all just a dream. A stupid, stupid dream. <laughs> I'm not good enough. <laughs> I've never been good enough. <laughs> That's true. Now go home. <laughs> Regret this. Wipe my tears, please. No, I won't wipe your tears. Please. I'm not going to wipe your tears. What part of you thinks I would wipe your tears? The good part of me. Well, that's not going to happen. Why don't you use one of your wings? Okay. Or something. <laughs> you, should bring, you know what? You're making me miss. Just bring your arm. You're making okay. me okay. miss. I'm the just one saying one. it is so hard enough. Yes. Uh, you're a little close. Oh, sorry. You're closer now. I'm... Oh. Sorry. Hey. I'm sorry. <sighs> Now stay close. No face has an incredible sense of hearing. Ah, you remember well, bat dung? No face. I'll have you know that the correct term for bat dung is guano. So if you insist on calling him that, then you should just call him guano. Okay, you remember the be quiet part? Oh, sorry. The jig is up, No Face. You might as well give up now. It's time to turn it. You should turn yourself up. It turn it in. C come to the station, No Face. It's over for you. Oh, he has no face. Duh. Still the same old bat thumb. But ah, we have a new body apparently. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to do something about that costume. I say, boys, get them. <laughs> Get it. Happening. Oh. 
arms. Heavy. Tired. Tired. Feel. Net. Good. Uh, oh. Oh. Ow. You'll never get away with this, no face. Return the money now and they may lighten your sentence. Do you really think I did it for the money? Look at me. Look at me! Do you have any idea what it is like to grow up being a freak? Well, I do dress up like a bat. That is my choice, bat dung. Guano. For me, it is a sentence to grow up being laughed at, cruelly teased. Oh, mommy, make the boy with no face go away. What about your parents? Tony and Desiree, oh, they disowned me. Surely there must have been someone in your life that showed you compassion. There was one, a little girl at school. Her name was Vicky Nail. Soon I will be worthy of her. She will be mine. And I will kill any man that has even looked at her with lust in his eye. I've dreamed of a day, a new day for a new world, a glorious world, a faceless world. You're insane. I will release a vapor throughout Gotham City. And then finally, they'll all be like me. How do you talk without a mouth? Shut up! You're insane. Yes, you already said that. Oh, did I? You're in... You're in... You're insane. <laughs> but I've constructed a little trap. <sighs> High above, near the ceiling, is a flask. When I push this button, the flask will spill. A small amount of my formula will flow down a shaft of rice paper into a sponge. Once the sponge absorbs all the liquid, the weight will increase, triggering a small post office grade letter scale. The needle of the scale will then move just enough to set off a small catch will fall onto the end of a spoon, flipping a grape jelly bean into the air toward the dog. The dog will catch and eat the jelly bean. When the dog relieves himself, the hunching of his back will trip the low wire that is attached to another vial of my formula. This new formula will run through the glass tubing into these very eyedroppers and drip, drop, drop right with no face, you will go insane and then die. Oh, I do wish I could stay to watch. Ah, but I have a world to deface. Goodbye, bad dog. Now, to my destiny. Man, he sure talks a lot. Holy erase face, bad thumb. What are we gonna do? Is this the end of bad thumb? Will No Face take his formula and erase the faces of the citizens of Gotham City? Who is that? Who is that? Will Blue Jay ever find out? Sounds really close. Close enough to see your ridiculous get up, sissy. Get lost. Will he get lost? Go. Will he go? Yes. Life without a face. <laughs> I can't bear to think of it. If I can just get my hand to my belt. Let me try. I think I can reach your pants. Don't. Yes, got it. Luckily, I carry a spare thumb saver. Yes! We're free! Come, Blue Jay, to the Thumbmobile. We have to warn the citizens. Then I must find Vicky Nail before No Face gets to her. This is so cool! Please, don't touch anything. Why? Anything. I'm just playing with the radio. Stop it. It's not your car. I know it's not my car. Oh, 
Please. Just, I'm putting on the radio for a second. You're like a sissy. You work the foot pedals and I'll steer the wheel. You work the foot pedals and I'll steer the wheel. That's what you're doing. You're plowing through the tuba. Oh, wow. So we'll, look at that float. Wow, it's like a parade. Citizens of Gotham City, I, No Face, ask you to welcome me and my new bride to be. Let me go! You were nice to me when I was a kid. Don't blow it. I could never love a man with no face. Really? Well, perhaps you'll change your mind when you're a woman with no face. No! <laughs> in the past, you've all laughed at me. And because of that, in the future, you will all be me! Hang on, hang on. I love this song. It's my favorite part coming up. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, that thumb. We're too late. Oh, it's never too late, Blue Jay. We cannot stand by and see this good town and that hot chick taken from us slash me, respectively. What do we do? Stand back and hold on to something. Blow, fan. Blow like the wind. Oh, what a big fan! <gasps> My cuticle, you, you faced freak! Back them! Talk to me! Let's make a deal! Back them! Well done, Batham. You've saved the entire city from a horrible fate. Don't mention it, Commissioner. <laughs> what about us? I'm sorry, you'll all stay like that forever. Only those with full faces have been truly saved. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> yeah, we think it's Bat Thumb's new buddy. Really? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Vic, come on. He's just my assistant. Really? Like a sidekick. Uh, he's getting a new costume. I promise. I am? It's a temporary costume. <laughs> oh, I'm like on a high or something. Hug me back. <laughs> Talk about ruining a great moment. How did you get up here so fast? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Just use your wings.
My friends, welcome. Mr. Otakirk feels it would be irresponsible for us to proceed without a word of warning. We're about to unfold the story of Dr. Frankenthumb, a man who sought to defy the most precious laws of nature. The program that you are about to witness may surprise you. It may shock you. It may even track you down and get you. As you're watching, you may experience a slight tingling around the back of your neck. This tingling may proceed down your left arm and leg. This would have nothing to do with our program, but could be the early signs of a stroke. And we would urge you to seek medical attention immediately. If you should feel a sharp prick in your finger, it could be a splinter and you should seek tweezers and any form of disinfectant salve. I have just wet myself and now must go. Enjoy. that happens after we are born, then continues for a while, then stops. Today we are witnessing such a thing. The life in this poor man is no longer in this poor man. It's gone. And what do we do with a stopped life? Anyone? We bury it. Because if we don't, then all manner of bacteria sets in and it's very stinky. And now I believe the brother would like to give the eulogy. Thank you, minister. Brother? My brother Jim had a hard life. When he was born, our parents disowned him. He failed in business. He destroyed his personal life. And he had no real friends to speak of. I'm sorry, what? About the only thing that could make this worse. As if maybe he was, you know, dug up and dissected and used in some bizarre experiment involving, I don't know, rejuvenation of dead tissue. Goodbye, Jim. Well, that's all I got to say. So we weep, and then we stop weeping. <laughs> he owed me money! <laughs> Is there a reception? Food? Drinks? <laughs> it's all right, my good woman. He's in a better place. Not him! It's a wreck! <laughs> Open it, Humpy, open it. Mm. Hurry, hurry, the clock is ticking. We must get it back to the lab while it's still fresh. Yes, Humpy, yes. Oh, he'll do just fine. We'll use his bum cheeks. <gasps> Onward to the next grave. It appears the reanimated squirrel is doing quite well. A lot of spirit, that one. Humpy, clearly we are ready for human experimentation. <laughs> yeah. Is it safe, master? Certainly. 
This is just a, an animal from the wild. Doesn't like being kept in a cage. Oh, okay. We have gathered the finest parts, but we lack a brain, Humpy. We need a perfect brain to suit a perfect being. He will be a genius, and his genius will show the world that I, Dr. Frankenthumb, have got it seriously going on. Oh, he certainly didn't like being cooped up now, did he? Oh, who does? <laughs> eyes of a surgeon, the torso of a boxer, the legs of a dancer, the bum cheeks of that guy from the opening scene. Oh, excellent work, Humpy. Oh, look at them. Are they scholars, Humpy? Huh? Are they men of, of great wealth and grace? What's a scholar? Educated men. Are they... Geniuses, Humpy. I guess so. I... I... I can't read! <laughs> of course you can't. No matter. As long as you didn't get them from the Bad Brain Institute. Ah, oh, we'll do just fine. Now, which one? <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mosey. If he hollers, put him in a bucket, saddle up the horses and move to Nantucket. My mother told me to pick the very best one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pick it like a piece of gum, pop it in and chew. Daddy wears a hairpiece, so the choice is you. Humpy, <laughs> secure the electrodes. <laughs> Do something! Bring them up! Yeah. Bring them up high! Then go after it with the torches! Please, please! One at a time, for heaven's sakes! I'm mad! Me too! At what? They've got to be stopped! Yeah! I'm sorry? Hang them high! Hang them high who? Hang them! Who hanging high? Who will be hanging? Uh, I don't know. But come on, are we gonna take this anymore? Take what, please? There must be something going on that we don't approve of. And I think we should go out and stop it, or kill it, or whatever. Who's with me? Yeah, kill something, destroy it, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> My good friends, please. There is nothing to rebel against at this time. Yeah, it's okay. Aww. Aww. Okay. Aww. Now, go on back to your homes and get some resting, okay? I'm sure for all very, very patient that in a little while there'll be plenty of things to mob about before you even know it, okay? All righty, bye-bye. Go home now. I hope it's soon. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Good evening, everybody! Hi, Charlie. Take care. Good. Good. The storm approaches. Before me lies a lifeless form. A form constructed by me. 
a dead form that I shall make live life by these hands as God creates so shall I burn the electrode Zampi a final test Very good, Humpy. You've done well. It is time! through all history. What was once dead will be rejuvenated by the power of lightning. Yes, lightning, the great birth giver. Let us witness its handiwork. Oh. Well, let's lower the juice and give it another shot, shall we? Yes! Yes! Give my creature life! Okay, that's enough. Get him down, get him down, get him down! He's not burnt up. Pulses not there. Oh, what did we forget, Humpy? What have I missed? Oh, surely there must be some aspect I've overlooked. I. Oh, he likes you, Humpy. He's like a child playing with his very first toy. Down, down, boy. Down. Sit him down, boy. Set him down, goody, goody, goody. Oh, oh. oh you see, he understands. Oh, look at him, Humpy. My creation. Oh, don't you just love him, Humpy? Uh, he's okay, I guess. <laughs> We shall call him Pepper. Pepper? Yes, Pepper. Because he really spiced up our lives. Oh. See? Oh, he likes it. He really, really likes it. That's it. Sit in the chair. Sit. Sit, good boy. Now this experiment will test Pepper's first interaction with other creatures. 
Oh, you see, he is human. He is decent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pepper. Bad, bad pepper. Birdie? Oh, his first word? Oh, he's talking. He wants to try again. Oh, Birdie. Perhaps a different type of animal this time. Oh. All right, Peppa, now remember, gentle, gentle, gentle. Uh, yes, the puppy is your friend. Uh, the puppy is your buddy. The puppy is... Okay, let's move on to the bunny, shall we? He is clearly not gentle. But in time, he may learn to not kill everything. Oh, my kitty. It's a monster. I've created a monster. <laughs> Daddy. No, don't. It's painful enough. Take it to the cellar, Ampi. Take this creature from my sight. Yeah, it's about time. No. Pepper, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're taking my big ugly face. It's got my eyes. Oh. <laughs> some other solution. No, I really think you should kill it. But I gave it life. Take it back. Kill it. Kill it now. Perhaps you're right. I mean, perhaps he'd be better off, you know, but who should do it? I'll do it. Give me a hammer. I'll kill him. Very well. I've got fire! I've got fire! Whoop de doop de dee! Whoop de doop de doo! I got fire! Me! <laughs> Not like song. <laughs> It's escaped! It's a beautiful day. Okay, Jenny, you will be careful now, okay? Daddy, are you Italian? Yes! All right, can I go play by the pond? Okay, but uh, you will be uh, careful. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Uh, I'm uh, going to go into the house uh, and make uh, some uh, pasta. You 
look funny. <sighs> My name's Jenny. What's yours? Mm. Pepper. Pepper? <laughs> That's a funny name. Who gave you that name? My daddy. I spiced up his life. My daddy named me too. Do you want to play with me? What? Play. Play a game, silly. Okay. What do you like to play? I squash and slam. Squash and slam? <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> That's a fun game. Let's play patty cake. Patty? I'll play. You raise your hand like this and go, Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, patty cake. Bake me a cake. Hey What are you doing? You patty cake my Jenny over into the bushes and a brush. Patty. Kika. We were just playing, Daddy. You were uh, playing uh, with the uh, monster, uh? No. You go uh, now, uh, be gone. Uh, uh, oh! Hey, uh, you knock me down. Uh, I'm uh, down. Uh, dinner is uh, ruined. Uh, Jenny. <laughs> One at a time here. Now, what happened? Somebody tell me what happened. It was a creature. Uh, I saw it with my own eyes. Uh. We should kill it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kill it. Yeah. 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 Kill that yeah. creature. Yeah. Wait, wait a second here. Now, what did this creature do? Hmm? Did it hurt someone? It uh, played the patty cake with uh, my daughter, Jenny. Yeah. yeah. So what's wrong with a patty cake? It knocked me down! He knocked him down! Let's kill the creature that knocked him down! Knock him him down. down. Yeah. Get the torches! Tor yeah. Torches! But it's still light outside. We could wait until it gets dark. Then go after it with the torches! Yeah. Torch! Torch the dark! Torch the dark! Torch the dark! Get your bottoms off your porches! Come and buy me brand new torches! They light up when you light them! They're sticks when you don't! I do not sell lighters, as my family was killed in a bad fire accident! Let's get it! Let's kill it! He's out there! Let's Now let's kill the creature. You're a nice uh, mama. All of us are together. Uh. Let's get it. Let's kill it. He's out there. Let's go. Dr. Frankenstein, what are you doing here? I created the creature. <gasps> I brought him into this world. <gasps> and I should be the one to lead you to him. Yeah, let's go, let's get a burn, burn fire. <laughs> hey, what's that? Hey guys, I found a lighter. It, ooh, oh, it's oh, it. The windmill! He's 
it's in the windmill! Us. We're a mob! Uh, I won't let this happen. Oh, that's not going to help, Humphy. We've got to. Wait! That's it! We've got to get back to the castle quickly, quickly! Ella is a data. I'm Franken Bat Thumb. Quickly, Franken Bat Thumb! Uh, think of a way to find a way to oh, put out that fire! Excellent work, my creation. Pepper, he's not burnt up. Now back off, angry mob. You cannot defeat our collective power. Together we will rule. There will be a new world order, led by me, Pepper, and Franken. Um, Franken the what the what the mutt? Those that stand in opposition will promptly be instructed not to. I will join you! I will be the fourth musketeer in your tribe of... questing group! Let's all go have some more tadella.
Hi, I'm Steve Odekirk. Myself and all the good people here at O Entertainment are proud to bring you the latest Thumb Studio release entitled The Blair Thumb. Well, I can remember not too long ago. With Okay, you got it. Are you focused? I look okay? Good. Hi, I'm Stressy, and this is my place. Um, I've got this project that um, I'm the star of, and we're going to be going into the woods to find the Blair Thumb. Okay, packing up here. You never can be too prepared. I like to think of myself as a super duper preparamatic. These are all my books. I'm very well read. Okay, that should do it. Now, just as soon as I go and puke up my breakfast, we can head out. <laughs> Whoa. You're late, mister. Whoa. <laughs> Did you bring the camera? Yeah, check it out. Oh, okay, okay, stop filming me. I'm the director here. <laughs> you stop filming me? No, come on, I mean it. <laughs> Smile I'm the for the camera. Stop it, your butt chop. <laughs> Looking good. Cut it out. Oh. oh. Could you do that again? It wasn't in focus. <laughs> Any time. So do you know this guy? Is he cool? He has his own sound equipment. Cool. Hey, you must be Vic. Hey, thanks, guys. This is really cool. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for the opportunity. You got it. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I've never been to the woods before. I, you know, I, I kind of hoping this isn't scary or anything. I kind of <laughs> freak out <laughs> when, when it's, it's scary times. <laughs> No problem. Like a friendly camping trip. Yeah, I, br I brought an enema bag. So, so what's your names? Uh, this is Stressy, and I'm Jish. Jish? What, what kind of a name is Jish? It's just a name, dude. So is Vic short for Victor? Uh, uh, no, victim. My dad was bludgeoned to death. Sorry, dude. What can you tell us about the Blair Thumb? Oh, oh, well, I'm a believer, yeah. Uh, I didn't used to be, though. No, but that was before we had the little one here. <laughs> Coochie poo, noopy, with little pinky. Have you ever seen anything? Uh, oh, no, but you won't get me out in those woods. <laughs> no, I'll stay here where it's nice and safe, thank you. <sighs> Show him your trick, honey. <clears throat> Neat, huh? Anyway, a lot of kids were disappearing in the woods, real mysterious like. Anyway, they thought it was maybe David Copperfield. In his stage show, he made a llama disappear. He took a llama and he put it in a box, closed the box, spun it around, opened up the box, there's no llama. And you don't see that every day, no. Just a llama here, llama gone, llama no llama, just, just chills you to the bones. I'm a pirate. I only know the ways of the sea. Woohoo! 
You get the supplies? Got it. Mallow, baby. Marsh, baby. Marshmallow. Mallow. 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 Settle. Boys, settle down. <laughs> Don't give it all here. Just happy to have it. What are you doing? You, you told us to. No, I didn't. I said kiss. Before the first shot, we kiss the slate. <laughs> hey, sorry, okay? I heard you wrong. Kiss. What's the difference? This is Thumbsville, formerly known as Die. I stand before a rare oddity, a field of engraved stones. Normal, you say. I think not. For under each stone lies a body. That's right. One stone per body. How did they get there? Who put them under the ground? What freakish creature carved and engraved the stones? They call it a cemetery. I call it a clue. Ah, yeah! Yeah! The first shot, the first scene, the first shot is opened and done in the can. Meet the man. <laughs> the main man. Meet the main man, Stan. Uh -huh. Hey, we should do uh -huh. this after every shot. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we should. Every one. No, no. every one. No. Every shot. No, no. I, I'm every the director. Shot. I'm the director. That is so cool. Every shot's a holiday. So cool, yeah. yeah. One more down. OK, settle. Uh, how many, how many have we done? How many have we done? One. Ah! Ah! Okay, the trail is somewhere around here. I know it's near trees. Oh, yeah. The, the Blair Thumb? Scary stuff. Tell her what you've heard. Well, okay, okay. There are these twins, the Briarly twins. I, I, I think they're twins. Twins should look alike. They went into the woods. I've been there hundreds of times, but this time they got lost. Couldn't find their what? Then they saw this woman. She was up in the air, floating. She took their heads, switched them like it was a sick game. Then she took their bodies. She switched them, too. They came out looking exactly the same. But we all knew they'd been all switched up. Are you movie people? Do you know Ned Beatty? I do so love Ned Beatty. <laughs> he's our favorite actor. <laughs> he is. Uh, he's good. He's, he's good. got it going on. <laughs> Here in the woods, oh yeah. Hey, you sure you know where we're going? Of course. How much farther? Oh, uh, hang on, I should check the map. What do you mean, check the map? I thought you knew where we were. I do know where we are. Whoa, whoa, what's going down here? Nothing's going down, we're fine. I know exactly where we are. I have it all planned out and I know exactly where we are. You drew this! This is so bogus! This is so totally bogus! Hey, whoa, time out! What's going down here, man? What is going down? Will you both please just settle down? Dude, be straight, be true. What is shaking and baking here? I'll tell you what's going on, man. We're lost! We're in the woods! And we're lost! This isn't accomplishing anything. Where's the car, man? The car! Oh, spit, man. Oh, spit. <laughs> the car. <laughs> Big word. Hey! The car's right there. We just left it a few seconds ago. Oh. <sighs> cool. There! 
There it is, right there. We're here at Hangnail Rock. <clears throat> the search party went into the woods in search of the five lost victims. Upon reaching Hangnail Rock, the torture inflicted upon these brave men unfolded. Each was bounded to the other, positioned one behind the next. Each man's hand was in the next one's pants. The men promptly turned and asked the search party to leave and mind their own business. Hours later, the men were found decapitated and very tired. The search party left to find a sheriff, but upon return, the bodies were gone. All that was found was a Streisand CD and a mini-disc single of It's Raining Men. Come on, we're behind schedule. Camp's still a ways off. Oh, it's raining. We better hurry. Are you sure that's rain? Yeah. It, it's kind of clumpy for rain, huh? It's rain, okay? Everyone cozy? Oh, yeah, I love the sound of rain, man. It's so... Guess it stopped. That was kind of sudden, man. Hey, hey, guys, this is kind of creepy. Hey, what was that? Just a twig, man. Hey, twigs don't snap themselves, man. Okay, settle down, okay? Everything's fine, okay? We're in the woods. There are sounds in the woods. <sighs> what is that, man? Oh, the Blair Farm. Would you both just settle down? It's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing, right? It's getting closer, man. Oh, spit. Oh, spit. Oh, spit, man. It, it is getting closer. What the hell was that, man? Okay, okay, settle. Just settle. What's happening here? You think... Watch your teeth! Watch your teeth! Hey, hit it on the nose! Hit it on the nose! It's called the snout, dude! No. Hit it on the snout! No, it just pisses them off. Don't you watch Discovery? I don't have cable! Oh, dear <laughs> Together. Maybe it wasn't a shark. What? Okay, then then what was it? It was a shark. Maybe it was a deer or something. <laughs> or something like a shark? Yeah, I, I hate to bring it to you, but deers don't have dorsal fins, okay? Deers don't have big friggin' razor sharp teeth, okay? I didn't get a good look at it. You didn't need a good look, okay? You didn't need any kind of a look, because it, it was like a great thing with the beady eyes. It had gills. Well, yeah, it was totally sharky, complete. Dude, what does that mean, totally sharky, complete? I'm a <laughs> spit, man. Oh, spit. I think you guys just had a nightmare. Aren't we supposed to be on a trail or something? This is the way. Trust me. Dudes, like, what's all this slime on my stuff? Oh. What is that? How come it's only on my stuff? You've been singled out. Oh. So God is not me. Whoa, where are we? I know exactly where we are. 
You so don't know where we are. You so don't know. We're lost. I know where we are. We're at the place of lost. We are not lost. I have a map. <laughs> Just pull it out and get me back to the friggin' car. Cause I'm out of here, man. I'm gone. Wait, did you agree to do this project? <gasps> yeah. I agreed to a scouted out project. The, the, the ad you ran said scouted out. Scouted out. SSC scouted. Oh, you doubt. Whoa, dudes, chill. The map. Where's the map? Dudes, chill, okay? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you really lose what? the map? Uh, oh, there's no map. Wait, we're lost, man. This is it! We're... Oh! We're seriously totally dead! Oh! You do have the map, right? No. We're going in circles. We're going in circles, man. I think he's right, man. We keep seeing these same tread marks. These are our tire marks. I knew this looked familiar. This is where we parked our car. It's gone. Bummer. Oh, it took our car, man. It took our car. Whoa, dudes. <gasps> Oh, oh, this isn't good. Oh, this is not good. Let's get this on film. Who do you think did this? Oh, let me take a stab. Demons? Like, we should get out of here while it's still light, dudes. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, that doesn't happen. Does that happen? Maybe the sun went behind a cloud. Well, then that's one pretty big friggin' cloud, okay? Don't freak out. Why me? Why did I answer the ad? You guys, <laughs> Kate, you don't, that's not funny, man. Come on, just really. Hey, you guys have to chill, okay? I've been thinking, you know, everything can be explained except the shark, okay? Sticks in the tree, okay, some kids ripped off our car, went for a joyride. There is no Blair Thumb, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we gotta get him. Oh my God. Come on. <laughs> Get back to the tent! Oh, sure! The tent's safe! Nothing could ever penetrate the nylon! Who could get through it? I'm scared. I'm running. Yes. I'm sure that there is nothing behind me, but if I stop and I am wrong, it will kill me! Oh, over here! Over here! Turn off the light! Over here! Come on! Oh. Okay, now, if we run, it can hear us. If the light's on, it can see us. Be completely still and quiet. Are you feeling me up? A little. Stop it. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Maybe he's okay. He's not okay, all right? Half of his body is gone. How okay is that? How okay? He's a half a body guy. Of all the things he's not, okay is like the top of the list of things he's not. A woman 
and okay. He's not. And a full body guy. He's not anymore. Oh, jeez. I hardly knew him. I just met the guy. No. No, no, no it can't be. No, it can't. It's not him. It's him. Okay? No. It's so totally, completely, it's him total. No. Those are his clothes. Who else would it be? Yeah, but he buys off the rack. It could be anyone. This is his license, okay? It says here, Jish. Thief! I'm so glad it's not me still. I'm still glad it's not me. I'd rather it be him when it comes down to a push comes to shove. I'd rather him be half a body guy than me. Not that I have anything against him. It's just that I'd ra I don't want that for me. Vic! <sighs> we gotta keep Jish. moving. Come on, Vic! Shaggy, gonna get me in this damn. She says it's not a shaggy, but it is a shark and it sticks trees. Stick trees, chest, shark. I am so scared right now. This is all my fault. I just want to apologize to Vic's mom. Vic's really scared and freaked out. And to Jish's mom. Jish is dismembered and everything. I love you, Mom and Dad. And Ricky Martin. I'm I'm scared to open them. I'm scared to squint. I'm scared to cross them. Maybe I could cross them. I don't know where this snot is coming from because I don't have a nose. <laughs> Can't a guy even take a leak? Oh, sorry. <gasps> what? What is it? Must kill. We party first? 
Okay. Sure. Oh. Nice tune. <laughs> Woo! Hey, you know how to party. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Pre-death jam. Hey, nice balls. Hey, don't forget to kill me quick. <gasps> Cheers! <gasps> Hi, I'm Steve Odekirk. Myself and the good people and gnomes at O Entertainment are proud to bring you yet another Thumb Cinema classic, entitled Thumbtanic. Thumbtanic is the story of a ship full of thumbs battling the very forces of nature itself. We did find the burden of historical accuracy to be far too weighty and, quite frankly, very hard to do, so we've chosen to make stuff up instead. What do you think, Thummy? Just glad to be along for the ride! Tell them about the volume. Oh, yeah. If you turn it up, it gets louder. If you turn it down, you can barely hear it. Let's dance.
she's naked. And she's not wearing any clothes, too. <laughs> Squirrel was surprised, Barbara. This just in, an amazing discovery today. A drawing of a naked lady found at the bottom of the ocean. Sources close to the drawing say, quote, not only is she naked, but she ain't wearing any clothes too. <laughs> well, I'll be a canned ham. <laughs> we'll be right back with the wedding. Hello? Anybody? The woman in the picture is me. <laughs> Phil Shabato, KTMB Channel 3 News with his exclusive interview. Tell us your story, old one. Well, uh, I... Give was... us but a rare glimpse behind the withered curtains of your mind. All right. Uh, it was... A Grace us with the marvelous tale of ancient wisdom that is locked within the deep withered pit of the crusty remnants of your aged, ragged brain. Fine. It Grace us with the marvelous tale of withered, decrepit wisdom. Spew forth from your lined, gray, wrinkled pie hole the secrets locked deep within the past. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine. <clears throat> I'd like to help you up, but you kind of smell like an old person. That's all right. Are you ready to go back to Thumbtanic, Stinky? Yes. I am. Lucky that time. Huh? How about double or nothing? <laughs> Final round. Winner takes all. You got uh, it. Uh, <laughs> come on. Uh, Whoa. Uh, we get uh, it. We got it. Call this luck day, the great day of the magic ticket. The day it all changed. My passport to happiness. Hey, you'd better get a move on there, laddie. A ship of death. I mean, some tonic leaves in five minutes. <laughs> Any lice? Well, <laughs> now you do. <laughs> I'm tired of being rich. I want to be poor, dance with paupers, and have sex in a car. Oh, I do so want to be poor. You want to be poor? Are you half crazy? I work 18 hours a day for a mere shilling a week. Then I return to a freezing room the size of a closet. Oh, I would pack myself an excrement if it meant just staying one degree warmer. I do so want to be poor, except for all those parts. Oh! Hello! 
Oh, ooh, I always like to come by and say hello to the worthy passengers, yes. Why are you wearing that? <laughs> what? Oh, I like the way it looks. Would you like to come in and see my wheelhouse? <gasps> it's just the place I work. Oh. Yes, oh yes. She's a grand lady, she is, yes. Take a look around. One day you'll be old and wrinkled and wish you could see her this clearly. It's truly a wonderful ship. Why, thank you. I'm the ship's designer. It's nice to meet a man of such fine taste. Woman! Whatever. Surely this will be a glorious voyage. Is the ship safe? <laughs> if anything were to happen, there are two lifeboats. Only two? Yes. One is designed to hold 23 of the key nautical crew and myself. The other will hold the rest. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't there over 2,000 thumbs on board? Whoa. Good day, gentlemen. Good day. <laughs> Just how I like them. All big and big like. Hmm. I hope he likes them big. She's bigger than me. Time's up. Next. I'm a dentist! Yay! Next. I'm really a woman! Whee! Next, please. I'm cleaning my elbow! I'm ulcer oh, free! Oh, I'm a bedwetter! No, that's not good. Oh, I am the king, baby. Mm -hmm. Sonic, read it. Get my cape. Captain? Uh, yes? I want to go faster. Uh, but, Mr. Prickle, we're already going fast. Yes, I know, but I want to go unreasonably faster. Faster uh, than what's safe, do you hear me? Uh, very well. <laughs> All hear this! Increase speed beyond reason! Happy? Yes, I believe I am. OK! Let's get even hotter and sweatier! Uh, Woohoo! Yeah! 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 Love the heat! Love the heat! Love the heat! <sighs> if I can't be poor, I'd rather be dead. Why don't you just <gasps> give your money away? What? Your money. If you want to be poor, you don't have to kill yourself. Give away your money, then you'll be poor. That's a bunch of rabble. Funny thing about a pig. They lay around all day in the mud, but they're cleaner than you and me. Well, you. I'm clean. Yeah. So why don't you come back on over here? Come on. All right. Help me over. You got it. <laughs> Take it easy. Ah! I've got you. Whatever you do, don't let go. Okay. And don't pull really hard all at once. What? And don't tickle me. If you tickle me, I might laugh and lose my grip. What? Try to oh. be lighter. Oh. Less heavy would be nice.
big deal. I'm the king of the globe. Fatty. Trust me. My heart is a Teach me to spit, Jake. Okay, geranium. How'd that uh, trip to the eye doctor go? Horrible. Doctor says I'm legally blind in the left eye, totally blind in the right. Whoa, at least you got that left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> me, 2020. Nothing gets by me. Nothing gets by you. What is, what is that? I, that's definitely something. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's white. I know I've seen it before. Pull out the manual. I think, uh, it's chapter 14. Okay. White, 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 uh, white. <gasps> oh, shift change. change. See, See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Right. What's that there? They should have left in a hurry. Ah! Iceberg! Straight to head landing! Oh, this pate is divine, Captain. <laughs> what is that annoying bell? Uh, that's a warning alarm from the lookout tower. Oh, well, no wonder they're frightened. They're not rich. <laughs> <laughs> I think they <I> do. <laughs> oh, the poor, they crack the other. <laughs> what did one poor person say to the other? What? Who cares? <laughs> Captain? See, we go faster. Yes, faster. Faster! 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 Oh, Jake! Easy! Oh, yeah! We've been hit! The water is cold and invigorating. Jake? What's happening? Huh? Uh, are we sinking? Huh? Not if I can help it. Come on! We're sinking! We're going down! Please, everyone, stay calm. We have a minor sinkage situation here. We're all going to die! Wearing it, Captain. I want. You're always wearing it. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Captain, I demand we sink faster. What? Surely we can submerge this beast to the faster clip. I shall die the fastest. Please excuse me. I'm heading for the low end. What <gasps> are? Twenty-six. Now serving twenty-six. <laughs> babies, get your babies here! Can't get aboard a lifeboat without a baby! Well, I'll take two. You only need one. I'll still take two. Okay. Say, you got any twins? Uh, fraternal. I'll take them. <laughs> the water's freezing and there's not enough boats. The thumbs on this ship are going to die! They're gonna die! What are we gonna do, Jake? Nothing. There's nothing we can do. We're sinking. We're sinking and there's nothing we can do about it! You can't go back from sinking! It's over, don't you see? It's all over! I wanna go by a Hey! Get a grip, man! 
You're a thumb. You're right. I am a thumb. Pasta! Pasta! <laughs> I've never ridden a pony! <laughs> sex change! Get your sex change here! Can't get aboard a light boat if you're a male! Me! Me! There you go. See ya, lady! Thank you. Uh, does this life jacket make me look fat? Suicide Promenade 3. Group suicide. How much time? How fast will the water rise? Water is liquid. Yes. If we can manage to take it away, uh -huh. to get the liquid away from us, or somehow dry it, dry up all the liquid with a big heating device. Dry up the entire ocean? What? What? It would have to be big. Uh, bigger than the ocean. Imagine a heating fan the size of Africa. Yes, that would be something. The ship man, how much time? If you refer to diagram B12, you'll see the point of impact is right here. The water will rush in and branch off in two key areas. Now, it is very important to remember. This isn't useful, this is a monkey. Hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> Wait, right here. There's an escape portal through the tail. Does anyone have a banana? Or some type of sweet fruit? Oh no! It's a gigantic spider! It's a gigantic spider! That spider is coming for us! That's right. Go back to the hell from which you came. You can't blast away an ocean, Jake. I know. I know. Hooray! We're saved! We're going to die! Come on! We've got to make it to the back of the boat! Ship! Shuffleboard finally. This isn't good! Hey, the ship's getting lower and tilting! Oh my gosh! Look at that! The entire ship is angling even more. Even more! And more! Oh, it's cracking in half now. The back of the ship is broken off and it's crashing into the ocean. Oh, it's crushing the people who left off to what they thought was safety. Oh, the rest of the ship is sinking into the ocean depths. It's amazing. It's massive. There's very little left to go. Oh, if you were ever going to recreate this on film, it would cost so much money. <laughs> I've wet myself. Shay, this isn't that bad. <gasps>
circle back around to pick us up. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Come on, let's swim for that makeshift raft that nobody else seems to see. <laughs> Hey, you think you can uh, let, 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 let me have a turn for a minute? Okay, we'll switch by the hour. Promise me you let me have a turn? I promise, Jake. Promise. Okay, come on, lay off it. Hey, look! <laughs> 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 Jake, look, a boat! Oh, oh no, you don't. <laughs> no, really, look! <laughs> You're right. Hey! Over here! Woo, 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 over here! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Sorry, all full up. Try the other one. Good monkey. Oh, oh. Uh. it's full. Oh, my. All those innocent people. Hey. Oh, well, we're not going to make it either, Jake, are we? My darling. I guess this is it, then. I love you. Hey. Wait a second. I have an idea. It's the greatest idea ever! The two lifeboats were able to hold all the passengers. Everyone was saved. And there were plenty of snacks to go around. Wonderful. So Jake lived. Yes. But we broke up the next day. But what of the necklace in the drawing, old hidden creature? I'm soaking in it. You mean wearing it? Yes. Oh. Uh, well, did we get it? Yes, just as you planned. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>